I've got some good news and I've got some really bad news, unfortunately. The good news is we're not going to see tons of snow, at least the next couple of days. We've got another clipper that's going to clip us, but it's going to bring the heaviest snowfall farther to the south. But after that clipper leaves, we're going to see some nose driving, super duper cold temperatures. I'm talking wind chill values. 20 to 29 below. That's what the National Weather Service just put out. So let's go right to our main feature. It is. It's about the cold. Ch -ch -ch chilly. Ch -ch -ch chilly. As we get clipped by the next clipper. And we've seen in the last couple of weeks a series of little disturbances that brought several inches of snow or light snow in the area, but nothing like the cold that we're going to see. So Kankakee River Valley could see a couple of inches of snow for us in the Chicago area. We'll start off with just a scattered snow shower, but we could start to see a little bit more early next week. As for dust surge, yes, it is going to be very cold starting this weekend, where temperatures will be in the single digits and wind chill values, well, they just keep on dropping. Okay, so the cold air is in place in the Great Lakes, even farther to the south, near the Gulf of Mexico, and that takes all the way out to the west. Now we're going to see a wind chill advisory. This is for the entire Chicago land area and also into northwestern Indiana. This starts Thursday night at 9 p.m. and goes until Friday at 11 a.m. That is the bad news. The good news is we're missing several inches of snow. So you're going to live in central Illinois or farther to the south, or if you have to travel, you could see anywhere from four to maybe six inches of snow. So the heaviest snowfall will be farther to the south. We're still seeing a little bit of some lake effect snow showers around the lake as those winds are out of the west-northwest. Hey, it was nice seeing some sunshine today as high pressure had built into the area, but it's already moving off to the east and we're already seeing that next clipper make an appearance. They're going to start seeing some snow already in the next couple of hours in the tri-states. So this is Wednesday night. We've got increasing cloud cover, overcast skies overnight tonight. Temperatures still chilly, though, in the mid-teens. And then by Thursday morning, just south of I-80, that's where the snow is. So if you're traveling south on I-57, south on I-55, or even uh, west on I-80, you'll run into some scattered snow showers. And we'll keep this snow into play for the few hours thereafter. But then that front comes through. The skies clear out. Keep lake effect snow around. But what happens? The temperatures, they nosedive. Like I said, we're going to have some extremely cold air, and we could also see a little bit more snow come Friday, Friday night. So this is by Friday, 730. We'll have just a dusting to some very light snow farther to the south or into northwestern Indiana. And look at the higher amounts. We're looking at over six inches in Kansas City, Columbia, over um, a half a foot. So... You know, they're not used to that amount of snow um, farther to the south. I know because I started doing weather in the tri-states and a couple of inches of snow and that's it. The brakes were on, schools were closed, and it was awesome. Okay, so overcast skies tonight, chilly night tonight, 13 to 19, a little bit of some lake effect snow around the lake. Heaviest snowfall, however, stays to the south. We'll have some scattered snow showers throughout the day, 21 to 25, and here is that seven-day forecast. Two below on Thursday nights, the skies clear out. Remember, wind chill values will be dangerously cold, around 20 to 29 below. Single digits on Friday will bring in a little bit of snow, even Friday night into Saturday, 17 for your high, and then a few flurries flying for the Bears game, 24. But we do have some moderation temperatures. Above freezing, yep, above 32. Can you believe it, finally? Oh, well. We have been about two degrees below average um, since December, so it has been a pretty cold winter so far. Not so snowy, but cold. I'm meteorologist Duffy Atkins from the WGN Weather Center, where it is definitely weather.